Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and uh, well, the Techno Terror Collection event came out yesterday, and well, it's a Halloween event for Apex Legends, that's pretty cool. That being said, it didn't seem to really help the player count or bring a lot of people back, and there's been a big divergence where a lot of people that have, you know, been around since the creation of the game and really been a staple of it just aren't sticking around and moving on to other things. And today we're going to talk a little bit about that, what we can also look forward to in the future with Season 23. But we're also going to go ahead and give out a Pathfinder Prestige skin. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. Apex Legends has always had a pretty big fan base for the last five years since it released in 2019, and a lot of content creators and pros have stayed within the game. However, that all seems to be changing. Most recently, Hardecki, who's a pretty well-known Amiya Apex Legends content, player who's been there basically from the beginning did let us know that he's retiring from apex he's now going to be grinding deadlock he's already done 870 hours and imperial hal even went to go ahead and say i'm sure you'll do great in deadlock it was a pleasure competing against you good luck and he is not the only one there are also content creators that are moving over as well as one of the staples of apex legends noko did say that over a little five years ago his community convinced him to take a leap of faith and quit his job at verizon to be a content creator for apex but at this point he's going to listen to this community once again and will be quitting apex to pursue playing deadlock whether it's for content guides going pro or even watch parties i'm excited for the next step and those are two pretty big names but they're not the only ones like lg giggle said they are already extremely addicted to deadlock it's the best game they've played in years sweet has already said deadlock's going to be huge and in case you haven't heard about it deadlock is a brand new game we're releasing by valve i'll go ahead and play a clip right here and let me know what you guys think so something important to know when watching that clip is that the new game deadlock will not be a direct competitor apex legends in the way that fortnite or other shooters are because while there is shooting in the game it is very much a moba slash there are lanes like league of legends and other stuff mixed with a first person shooter so it's not a direct battle royale competition that being said it's already off to a very quick start it's already got competitions going on with the Aurora Deadlock Masters and multiple teams competing. It's got a list of different legends you can play, which does have some comparison to Apex Legends. That being said, the game is in pre-alpha. It hasn't actually officially released yet. And we've heard this stuff before. Games like the finals was supposed to kill Apex Legends when it released it and hit a peak nine months ago of 242,000 players, which it never got back to and only sits at around 12,642. That's its current player base with a 24 hour peak of 14,000. You also have games like X Defiant, which released over the summer, which was an arena style shooter by Ubisoft. This was also supposed to be something that was going to compete with Apex Legends. That being said, it looks like it's already at risk of being shutting down due to some new rumors that are coming out by notable leakers such as Tom Henderson and others that due to its low player count, it will not be going on very much longer. Now, Apex Legends, as we can see, while its player count is lower than it has been at its all time peak of 624,000, it's still sitting pretty healthy with about 136,000 players players playing 26 minutes ago with a 24 hour peak of 229,000 and that does not take into account console either now deadlock once again in pre-alpha does actually have a pretty good player base right now it's hit an all-time player base of 171,000, and again this isn't a full release yet that being said i don't see this game dying at all and will definitely take some market share from apex legends in the future and the simple reason for that is well deadlock is a game made by valve if you've never heard of valve games or looked into them you can look that they are pretty much the king of shooters anytime they release something with stuff such as half-life to team fortress 2 to probably the biggest shooter of all time in a competitive multiplayer setting which is counter-strike and now outside of that they've also got great games such as dota which is where you get the moba setting which was the inspiration for league of legends and you have games like portal left for dead and so many others their games typically have a very very long shelf life and i don't see the player count dying the same way that finals or X Defiant does. That being said, once again, this is not a battle royale. It's not even a typical traditional first person shooter, which is what Apex Legends is. I do think a lot of content creators are going to leave Apex to try something new because Apex has been out for five years. However, Apex also has a ace in its sleeves because it is also on console and console actually makes up more players than on PC for almost any game out there. And it will likely be a very long time before Deadlock moves over to console, meaning that probably will not see a huge divide in the 
general player base, at least on the console setting, PC will be something completely different if people decide to follow their favorite content creators. Apex Legends is trying a lot of new things. Apex Legends is obviously trying to break away from just traditional battle royale and fall down that rabbit hole. And I do hope we get to see Apex Legends continue to succeed. Even with other great games like Deadlock finally coming out, it does give Apex some competition. And I am hoping that actually makes Apex continue to pick up its game, maybe fix some skill-based matchmaking, some audio, and do some upgrades to the game itself to try to compete with these newer games that are actually coming out and could be juggernaut. I actually don't think there will be another game that comes around like Apex that kills Apex. I just don't see it happening because the game is very unique and was originally designed and created very well. That being said, I think the thing that will actually kill Apex Legends is, well, respawn EA and whatever creative slash content choices if they decide to continue on the current route they are on. All that being said, we're going to go ahead and play some community clips right now. Don't forget to follow me on Thornton Smash on Twitter to send me some of your own so that you guys can see yourselves in the video. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Put it down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the state of Apex? Do you think that content creators do help to drive players in, or that it doesn't really matter and that the game will thrive on its own even if, you know, the big players aren't still there? Also, don't forget to check out this video right here by my editor Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content, and until next time everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.